Hi Virgo, it's your weekly reading for June 12th to June um, 18th of 2016. I am Renee Michelle and this is my channel here on YouTube, Chronicles of a Hoodoo Spiritualist. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the club. I want to thank you guys for the likes, the shares, and the comments. They are greatly appreciated. Much love to you and thanks. Alright then, if you want to book a reading with me, all you have to do is go to hoodoospiritualist.net. That's all one word. And if you click on the top right hand side next to my social media outlets, you click Click book online and you'll be able to book a reading with me I have specials for the month of June just for a regular reading I don't think nothing's on me Renee I just want to sit and talk and see what's coming up and ask you a few questions I have a special for that and if you want to find out listen because I had this dude and ever since I broke up with him everything ain't been all right then you do it that way too I have a special for that too you guys come through and enjoy who do spiritualists at outlook.com is my email address but you can also email me directly from hoodoo spiritualist.net all right virgo let's see what's going on with you this week I had to look twice. I had to look twice. And there might be something, yeah, there might be something attached to that, to that card in particular. So we have the chariot for Virgo this week, right? Moving forward with strong and serious force. So I feel like y'all very focused. You're very focused and a lot of energy just pushing you, pushing you, pushing you. Some of you feel like you're floating on the air, right? You're feeling like you just can't touch the ground. Your toes are like twinkle toes. You just can't touch the ground because you're moving so forcefully and sturdily on your path. It's like you're waking up from a long, dark sleep, right? Know that this is divine energy. Whenever you see the chariot and the star together, know that's God. That's God, that's God, that's God. Know that that's God that's pushing you and pulling you up from this devastation, up from this past, right? So you're waking up from it, right? You're opening your eyes and you're seeing what's really going on and what's really supposed to be happening around you, Virgo. Come on. See what you're supposed to see. Stop playing. Stop playing about knowing that people are not supposed to be there and they are there and they're hurting you every day. Every day of your life, they just beating you up and they just beating you up and beating you up. Come on, Virgo. Because at the beginning of the week, right, there's a victory. And you don't even, you can't even believe that you won this victory, that you got to be able to celebrate and be victorious over this fire sign. And if it's not a fire sign, it's a man. It's an older man and his mouth is so nasty and so vicious and so dirty and so wrong. And he keeps you up at night. You cannot sleep. You cannot rest because you fear for your life with this person. The fire is not just, oh, the fire is anger. The fire is deep, dark anger, Virgo. Right? And for somehow, for some reason, you have became victorious over this specific individual. Whether it's a female or male, it doesn't really have to be. I don't even think it is a Leo, Scorpio, no, see, sorry, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. I feel like this is just a very vicious, nasty, nasty person.
in the middle of the week you realize what your dreams are you realize what you really want in this world in this life at this time Virgo you realize what is really coming you realize what you really need to do and you need to look up at that star that wish that you've always had from the depths of your belly and your soul till now and what you want to do for a living your career your love your life choice and where you want to go and how you want to do it right because you want to do what you love to do so much so that the money doesn't doesn't even now that you just want to wake up every day with the joy in your heart with the with the with the with the with the with the freedom and the peace of mind and the rest because the outcome of the week is is, is is a struggle right because struggling 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 financially the nine of coins is about a certain level of wealth well, I'm not talking about millionaires and billionaires here Virgo I'm talking about just being able to have money saved just being able to pay your bills and just being able to go out to Applebee's Chili's Chuck E. Cheese Ch Chinese food whatever just to being able to have that luxury so I feel like for many of you it's a struggle just to, to, to keep that balance just to keep the, the, this 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 level of wealth and appearance to the outside world the outcome of the week is a need for balance it's a need for security it's a need to feel grounded it's a need to feel whole it's a need to feel real it's a need to feel strong it's a need to feel um, um, in control it's a need to feel me to feel me Virgo there is a need to be me right and also a need for rest for physical rest being able to sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep Okay, Virgo, good luck with this week. Stay blessed and I share. You know I love you.